All right, we're joined by Indiana University. Head coach Mike Woodson, along with Xavier Johnson and, and Mackenzie Mbaco. We'll start with an opening statement from coach, then we'll take questions for Xavier and Mackenzie, then we'll come back to questions for coach. Coach, go ahead. I'll keep it brief. Just want to congratulate Fred and his team. They played extremely well. Um, we just didn't have any answers tonight from a defensive standpoint because we were just not real good tonight. They were very good offensively as well as defensively. Questions for the student athletes. Raise your hand. We'll start with Tom in the front row. Then we'll go to Todd here. Xavier was just 33-27 with like three minutes to go in the first half, and they just went on that crazy run. And what happened there? And when it starts to snowball like that, what, what it was, if anything, could you guys have done to change that? Uh, I mean, they just started making knocking down threes. Uh, you know, we started losing defensively. Uh, Tom and I started getting hot, and it was call it a day from there. <laughs> Left-hand side, middle, go. Xavier, uh, it was a tough year for you. Obviously, you weren't able to play very much, and it seemed like through the Big Ten season, the team was fighting something like that, whether it was your injury or somebody else's. How difficult was it to try to just fight through and, and, uh, and get to this point in the season? How, how much of a challenge was it? Uh, it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was difficult to get to this point. Uh, I would just say it was difficult, you know, just getting back in the, into the rhythm of the game. Uh, you know, I've been knocked out of rhythm so many times uh, this year. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a rhythm, rhythm type of player, uh, you know, and I got a long way to, to get to my, my, next, my next destination to, to get, get everything back. Uh, you know, I got time, and I'm going to put in the work to, to get to where I need to get, get to. Anything else for the student? We'll go to Zach on the left-hand side, and then Tom. I guess, McKenzie, you know, just as much as you can in the immediate aftermath of, of a loss, just – how do you evaluate your journey this season, the, the improvements you've made maybe at both ends of the floor, the way your role has changed and grown, just basically kind of your journey from November until now? Yeah, it was just like keeping my head down, playing defense and locking in on what Coach really had to say on offense and defense and being susceptible to the changes being made while, while the game was going on and just being a player of the game. Right side, Tom. McKenzie, you guys have been playing really well through this last little stretch here, last five five game winning streak and such. Did this kind of outcome today kind of come as a surprise to you? Yes, I had all hopes that we was going to win this game, and it hurts that we lost. So Anything. yeah. Anything else for Xavier or McKenzie? All right, you guys can head back to the locker room. We'll continue with <sighs> yeah. questions for Coach Woodson. If you have a question, we'll get a mic to you. Raise your hand, please. We'll start over here in the middle. Mike, uh, as, as far as the season is concerned, uh, when, you, when you have a – I know you haven't had much chance to think about it, but when you look back on what you didn't have and what you're hoping to have next year, what, what assessment do you give to, uh, to that and what you find in recruiting? Well, again, I mean, it's too early right now to even entertain that question. The bottom line is we got to get better, you know, from a talent standpoint. Um, and this summer will be spent watching a lot of film on players and because we're going to lose some players, I'm sure. And, um, and we're going to have to build around the core guys that are coming back. So, um, we just got a lot of work to do this summer to, to get better. I don't want to sit here this time next year and not be playing in the, in the tournament. Right side, Tom. Mike, the, uh did a lot of fronting on the base tonight, and it was difficult for you guys to get anything going inside with you guys, which is kind of um, an important part of this season. Uh, what, was the, what was the difficulty most there in trying to get anything going offensively with the bigs? Again, I just – I don't think we executed. We did a poor job in executing offensive. I mean, Malik and, and Ware have seen double teams all year uh, from the back side, from the top side, from what we call the soft spot up top to the ball. You know, they've been double team in all ways you can double team, but they didn't read well tonight, and they didn't read the back side, and we were forcing things early to the point where we just didn't make the right play. And, and you know, I mean, we, 
I thought our intentions were great when we came out because it was back and forth, but when it got to about 33 to 26, 27, we dropped the rope and, and they went in big at halftime and we just never recovered. Second row, left-hand side. Yeah, Mike, the inside-outside offensive philosophy, what, what more from this year's group do you feel like you needed to make that work? Well, again, I mean, for the most part, it did work. We just, you know, we didn't make enough shots. I mean, I thought coming down the home stretch these last five games, we shot the three ball extremely well. But early on and, 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 and midway, we just, we struggled to shoot the three ball. And then we struggled to make free throws. And we kind of put it all together the last five games prior to coming into this game. And we pretty much looked like the, a team. We made threes, we made our free throws, and uh, the ball was moving, and we got a lot of assists. So a lot of good things was happening in that, that five-game stretch. But we met a team tonight that was really good and well-coached, and, and we had nothing for them. Take two more. We'll start with Zach in the second row. Mike, I know you don't want to think too big picture right now, but the portal has always been, you know, since you've come into the job, a consideration. How have your conversations maybe in the postseason, sort of the immediate aftermath of the season, evolved with your guys when you sit down to talk with them about the season that was, what's coming next, you know, their sort of the, where they are looking forward, where you are looking forward? How has that process evolved for you maybe the last three years? Well, again, I mean, we – We've been meet. We always meet every day, guys. We spend a lot of time, the coaches and I, together, and and we talk about the what ifs, you know, because you just don't know based on the new system and the portal, you know, who's going to be on your team, who's not, um, who are we going to entertain once the portal opens up. Um, so I mean, this thing is going to come very quickly. Um, and we got to be in position to do our homework and our due diligence on these players based on who we might want to come in to, f to fill a spot to help us move forward next season. We'll go all the way in the back of the room in the middle, and then we'll finish with Tom's last one. Mike, obviously your relationship with Xavier Johnson has been one that you've talked a lot about. He's been with you for three years now. He's played some probably the last of his college career tonight. When you reflect upon his career and, and kind of your relationship as a whole, what do you remember fondly about it? Well, we had a good run. You know, I look at the last two years with him, uh, and even last year him not playing as much for us. Um, he's just always been there in spirit, and he's worked his butt every time he got hurt to get back out on the floor to compete. He's a competitor, and I just feel for him because he just wasn't able to fulfill his dream in terms of really completing – his college career as a basketball player because he was hurt so much. But life goes on. Um, you know, he's got to now think about his next journey in his life, and and I just hope I'm a part of that. You know, I mean, if he needs anything, I'm going to be there for him to help him navigate whatever direction he decides to go because that's, that's just who I am as a coach. And um, I need to be there for him because he's – he was there for me when he was on the floor. Last one, Tom in the front row. Mike, you've I know, talked through the course of this year about some things that have disappointed you about this season, but you know, a dozen double-digit losses and many that were 20 points or more. Like Some of those like blowout losses like that, is that something that might be the most frustrating thing about this season for you, the, just not being competitive in some of these big games? Every, every loss is, is frustrating. I mean – because you, you go in the game with the game plan and you try to get your team to play at a high level. And I know when they do, we're pretty pretty good basketball team and we're very competitive. And tonight, they were a step ahead of everything that we wanted to do and you gotta give them credit. We just got a lot of work to do this summer to get back and get, get our team back on top. All right, thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you. That'll conclude tonight's press conferences.